Oliver Stone used the Philippine jungle as a stand-in for Vietnam, but turning his young cast into believable, battle-hardened soldiers was a bigger challenge. His solution was to hire former Marine and Vietnam vet Dale Dye to put the unsuspecting actors through a punishing two-week boot camp when they arrived on set. One of the elements that was crucial to us was to capture, especially for veterans in an audience, the business of sheer, utter exhaustion that you experience in long combat patrols. I wanted them to feel the idea that, uh, to be the incarnate, the idea that you, can't, you don't sleep over there. You're, you look old, because in too many movies there's older guys playing it. You wanted young guys who got old fast, and that's what we went for with Charlie and those guys. We lived life essentially like it was lived in the jungle. I designed the training so that uh, they got very little sleep um, throughout the entire training schedule. I'm two hours sleep, maybe. And even then, I would interrupt it with something that, that was going on. Stone's plan might have been extreme, but it worked. In that two-week period, his cast stopped behaving like actors and started functioning like a real platoon. What we found is that they built, just as they do, in a real unit in combat. The strong guys automatically emerge as leaders. And I don't mean necessarily physically. I mean psychologically, the guys who could quickly get over the pain and agony of it all. But the exhausted actors would never truly understand the constant levels of stress that the real platoons had to cope with. <laughs> 